Welcome to Who Died Today America, your daily source for honoring the lives and legacies of the notable personalities who've left us. Together, we'll pay our respects to these extraordinary individuals, diving into the significant contributions they've made in our world. If our content touches you, don't forget to hit like and share your thoughts in the comments. Your participation enriches this journey of remembrance and tribute. Superstar Billy Graham, a defining force and lasting legacy in professional wrestling. W.E. Hall of Famer Superstar. Billy Graham, born Eldridge Wayne Coleman, passed away at the age of 79. The news was announced by fellow wrestling legend Ric Flair, who paid tribute to Graham's significant influence on his career. Graham, a former bodybuilder and Canadian football player, transitioned into professional wrestling in the late 1960s, making a resounding impact that would redefine the sport. Graham made his World Wrestling Federation debut in 1975, securing three world championships in various wrestling promotions during his illustrious career. His final fight took place in 1987, followed by a stint as a commentator. Despite having a public feud with Vince McMahon post-retirement and being outspoken about steroid use, Graham returned to WWE in 2004, when he was inducted into the company's Hall of Fame ahead of WrestleMania C6. His influence extended beyond the ring, impacting the careers of wrestling greats such as Hulk Hogan, Scott Steiner, Jesse Ventura, Triple H, and Ric Flair. His charismatic persona, distinctive style, and passion for the sport were instrumental in shaping professional wrestling's modern era. Graham's health struggles, including a liver transplant in 2002, third-stage liver disease and cirrhosis diagnosed in 2012, never overshadowed his towering presence in wrestling. His resilience in the face of adversity is an integral part of his legacy, inspiring countless others in the industry. Tributes to Superstar Billy Graham John Rafua, a master of film editing's enduring legacy. John Rafua, an Oscar-nominated film editor known for his work on the groundbreaking Avatar series, passed away at the age of 58 due to complications related to bile cancer. Rafua's sterling career soared with the success of Avatar in 2009, earning him and his colleagues James Cameron and Stephen E. Rivkin an Academy Award nomination for Best Achievement in Film Editing. After the massive success of Avatar, Rafua continued to demonstrate his expertise in the sequel, Avatar The Way of Water, and other notable projects such as Transformers, The Last Night, Geostorm, and acclaimed television series like Touched by an Angel and CSI Miami. Despite being diagnosed with cholangiocarcinoma in 2022, Rafua persevered, continuing to contribute to Cameron's third Avatar film until his final weeks. His work earned him the 2010 Critics' Choice Award for Best Editing for Avatar and he was a respected member of the American Cinema Editors Organization. Rafua's unique ability to enhance any project he touched leaves an indelible mark on the world of film editing. His legacy of creativity, courage, and grit continues to inspire. Tributes to John Rafua. Andy Smart, a beloved figure and enduring legacy in comedy. Andy Smart, a luminary in the comedy world and renowned member of the improv group The Comedy Store Players, passed away unexpectedly at the age of 63. Known for his charisma and quick wit, Smart had a remarkable talent for making people laugh and was a staple at the Comedy Store Club in Soho, London, where he performed most Sunday nights. Smart's journey in comedy began with The Vicious Boys alongside Angelo Abella, winning the 1984 Time Out Street Entertainer Award. His talent led him to perform alongside renowned comedians like Mike Myers, Paul Merton, and Sandy Toxvig, among others, contributing to the storied legacy of the comedy store players since 1995. Smart was loved and admired by his peers in the comedy world. Eddie Izzard, who led the tributes, described him as a very funny man and a great improviser. Fellow comedy store player Josie Lawrence expressed her heartbreak, noting that Smart's laughter and joy would be deeply missed. Smart's legacy transcends his comedic talent. He was also remembered as a great man with a lust for revelry. His sudden passing leaves a void in the comedy world and in the hearts of his many friends, colleagues and fans. 
Tributes to Andy Smart. Marlene Hager, a trailblazer and Hall of Famer in women's golf. Marlene Hager, a trailblazing figure in women's golf and a World Golf Hall of Fame inductee, passed away on May 16, 2023, at the age of 89. Born in Eureka, South Dakota, Hager's impact on golf was profound and enduring. She was among the 13 founding members of the LPGA in 1950, and her impressive career included winning 26 LPGA Tour events and the 1956 LPGA Championship. Hager's journey started early. She began playing golf at the age of three, and by 13, she was already making records in the US Women's Open. Her legacy is not only in her victories, but in the doors she opened for women in the sport. She was also the youngest athlete to be named Associated Press Athlete of the Year, Golfer of the Year, and Teenager of the Year, all at 15. She was married twice, first to Bob Hager and later to former PGA Tour golfer Ernie Vossler. She spent her final years in La Quinta, California. Marlene Hager leaves behind a lasting legacy as a trailblazer and Hall of Famer in women's golf. Tributes to Marlene Hager Helmut Berger, a dazzling star of European cinema and vanguard of authenticity. International film star Helmut Berger, renowned for his roles in films directed by Lucino Visconti and Vittorio De Sica, has passed away at the age of 78 in his home city of Salzburg, Austria. Known for his transcendent acting abilities and his personal commitment to authenticity, Berger leaves behind a legacy that has deeply imprinted on European cinema. Berger's talent was spotted early by mentor Visconti, leading to a series of memorable performances in The Damned, Violence and Passion, and Ludwig II. His portrayal of Ludwig II, the Bavarian fairy tale king, was lauded globally as a masterpiece, forever cementing Berger's name in the annals of film history. His striking looks and androgynous charm were put to effective use in Dalamano's Dorian Gray, underlining his versatility as an actor. In addition to his European film roles, Berger also featured in Francis Ford Coppola's The Godfather Part III and famously made an appearance in Madonna's 1992 music video Erotica. Berger's influence even extended to Madonna's controversial book, demonstrating his wide-reaching impact in the entertainment world. Unapologetically open about his bisexuality at a time when such public affirmations were rare, Berger was known for his relationships with notable figures such as Visconti, Marisa Berenson, Francesca Guidato, Rudolf Nureyev, Tab Hunter, Ursula Andres, and reportedly, both Mick and Bianca Jagger. Berger's agency, Helmut Werner Management, lauded him as one of the greatest and most talented actors European cinema had ever seen. His life, lived in three languages and without regret, has inspired several generations and is testament to his undying spirit of self-expression. Tributes to Helmut Berger Weldy Olson, a titan of American ice hockey and a lasting legacy. Weldon Howard Weldy Olson, an illustrious figure in American ice hockey, passed away at the age of 90 on May 13, 2023, in Findlay, Ohio. Olson's prowess on the ice brought the United States two Olympic medals, a silver in 1956 and a gold in 1960. In his Olympic career, he played in 14 games and scored seven goals, demonstrating his exceptional skill and dedication to the sport. Olson's illustrious career began at Michigan State University, where he was the team's most valuable player, co-captain and leading scorer from 1951 to 1955. His reliability was legendary. Olson never missed a game during his time at MSU. His outstanding service to hockey in the United States has been recognized with numerous accolades. Olson is a member of several halls of fame, including the MSU Hall of Fame, the UP Sports Hall of Fame, and the US Hockey Hall of Fame. His contributions were also recognized by the NHL, which awarded him the Lester Patrick Award in 2002. Olsen's enduring legacy is marked by his remarkable talent, his consistent performance, 
and his unwavering dedication to the sport of ice hockey. Tributes to Weldy Olsen. Helmut Berger, a dazzling star of European cinema and vanguard of authenticity. International film star Helmut Berger, renowned for his roles in films directed by Lucino Visconti and Vittorio De Sica, has passed away at the age of 78 in his home city of Salzburg, Austria. Known for his transcendent acting abilities and his personal commitment to authenticity, Berger leaves behind a legacy that has deeply imprinted on European cinema. Berger's talent was spotted early by mentor Visconti leading to a series of memorable performances in The Damned, Violence and Passion, and Ludwig II. His portrayal of Ludwig II, the Bavarian fairy tale king, was lauded globally as a masterpiece, forever cementing Berger's name in the annals of film history. His striking looks and androgynous charm were put to effective use in Dalamano's Dorian Gray, underlining his versatility as an actor. In addition to his European film roles, Berger also featured in Francis Ford Coppola's The Godfather Part 3 and famously made an appearance in Madonna's 1992 music video Erotica. Berger's influence even extended to Madonna's controversial book, demonstrating his wide-reaching impact in the entertainment world. Unapologetically open about his bisexuality at a time when such public affirmations were rare, Berger was known for his relationships with notable figures such as Visconti, Marisa Berenson, Francesca Guidato, Rudolf Nureyev, Tab Hunter, Ursula Andres, and reportedly, both Mick and Bianca Jagger. Berger's agency, Helmut Werner Management, lauded him as one of the greatest and most talented actors European cinema had ever seen. His life, lived in three languages and without regret, has inspired several generations and is testament to his undying spirit of self-expression. Tributes to Helmut Berger. Dick Norse, a golden voice that echoed across generations. Dick Norse, the enduring face and trusted voice of KSL 5 News. <music> Sam Zell, a real estate mogul and maverick investor with a billionaire legacy. Billionaire Sam Zell a titan of the real estate industry known for his shrewd bets on distressed assets, has passed away at 81 due to complications from a recent illness. His trailblazing journey from managing student housing apartments at the University of Michigan to establishing an empire in real estate investment serves as an inspiring testament to his savvy business acumen. Zell, born to Polish parents who fled the German invasion, demonstrated an early fascination for real estate. This fascination led him to found Equity Group Investments in 1968, a company which not only invested in real estate, but also diversified into sectors like manufacturing, travel, retail, healthcare and energy. A pivotal figure in the world of finance, Zell championed the structure of real estate investment trusts, REITs, in the 1990s, which paved the way for mainstreaming the concept of earning profits from leasing and collecting rent on properties. Notably, his REIT, Equity Office Properties Trust, became the first of its kind to be included in the benchmark S&P 500 index. This groundbreaking achievement culminated in its sale to Blackstone Inc. for a whopping $39 billion, marking one of the largest real estate deals ever made. However, Zell's journey was not without its pitfalls. His audacious acquisition of media giant Tribune Co. turned sour, resulting in bankruptcy protection for the company just a year later amidst the global financial crisis. Despite this setback, Zell's indomitable spirit and innovative approach propelled his net worth to an impressive $5.2 billion, according to Forbes. Zell's candid demeanor, evident in his published book, Am I Being Too Subtle? Straight Talk from a Business Rebel, and his love for motorcycles embodied his unique rebellious spirit. His annual motorcycle rides with a group affectionately known as Zell's Angels further highlighted his larger-than-life personality. Tributes to Sam Zell Lisa Montel, a versatile actress with a remarkable journey in Hollywood. Lisa Montel, 
an actress known for her roles in World Without End, 10,000 Bedrooms, She Gods of Shark Reef, and various TV westerns, has passed away at the age of 89 due to heart problems and sepsis. Born as Irina Ludmila Vladimirovna Augustinovich in Warsaw in 1933, Montel's family fled to the US before the Nazi invasion of Poland in 1939. A diverse talent, she portrayed characters of various ethnicities during her career, most notably in Roger Corman's films Naked Paradise and She Gods of Shark Reef. Montel's filmography also includes TV westerns such as The Gene Autry Show, Broken Arrow, Tales of Wells Fargo, and Have Gun, Will Travel. After leaving acting in the mid-1960s, she worked on a local TV show with Tom Bradley and served in his administration after he was elected LA mayor. Her legacy includes a range of characters, from a woman surviving in a post-atomic war Earth in World Without End to a ballet dancer in Gabby. Lisa Montel's impact on the industry endures, reflected in the rich diversity of roles she embraced. Tributes to Lisa Montel. Dum Dum a powerful voice in Brazilian rap. Dum Dum, a significant member of the influential Brazilian rap group Facau Central, passed away at the age of 54 due to complications from a stroke on May 12, 2023. Born and raised in Sao Paulo's favelas, Dum Dum and fellow member Eduardo used the backdrop of their challenging upbringing, marked by social violence and criminality, to inspire their politically charged lyrics. Facau Central, formed in 1989, saw Dum Dum join its ranks as a performer. Their music, a raw portrayal of their lived experiences, resonated with many and contributed to their status as key figures in the Brazilian rap scene. Even their lyrical references to popular 80s, shows like Dogtanian and The Three Muskerhounds, served to highlight their unique blend of cultural commentary and personal narrative. Dum Dum's passing marks a significant loss for the Brazilian rap community, as his voice and his story have left an indelible mark on the genre. Tributes to Dum Dum. Keiko Tanaka Ikeda, a trailblazing legacy in gymnastics. Keiko Tanaka Ikeda the pioneering Japanese gymnast who etched her name in history by becoming the first Japanese female gymnast to win a world title, passed away at the age of 89 from brain cancer. Her landmark victory on the balance beam in 1954 also marked her as the first Asian female gymnast to win a world gold medal. Her record stood for 63 years until Mai Murakami's triumph in 2017. Tanaka Ikeda, whose illustrious career spanned three Olympics, 1956, 1960 and 1964, won a team bronze medal in 1964 and achieved fourth place on the floor in 1956. Her impact extended beyond her athletic achievements, as she served as director of the Japanese Gymnastics Association and taught at Japan's Sports Science University. In 2002, she became the first Japanese woman to be inducted into the International Gymnastics Hall of Fame solidifying her influential legacy in the world of gymnastics. Tributes to Keiko Tanaka Ikeda. Len Goodman, a radiant legacy in ballroom and broadcasting. Len Goodman, a revered figure in ballroom dance and television, passed away from cancer at the age of 78. After a successful professional ballroom career, where he won the British Exhibition Championships and ran his own dance school, he found fame as the genial head judge on the BBC's Strictly Come Dancing at the age of 60. Known for his honesty and wit, Goodman's catchphrase, It's a 10 from Len, became a defining symbol of his encouraging feedback, while his critiques added a sharp element to the show. The success of Strictly led to a transformative effect on dance schools, fostering a renewed public interest in dance. Goodman left Strictly in 2016 but continued as head judge on the American version Dancing with the Stars until his retirement last year. Born in Farnborough, Kent, Goodman transitioned from a welding career to professional dancing, eventually founding the Goodman Dance Academy in Dartford in 1973. 
He leaves behind a lasting legacy in both the world of dance and television entertainment. Tributes to Len Goodman. Ralph Boston, a trailblazer in track and field with a lasting legacy. Ralph Boston, an Olympic gold medalist and record-breaking long jumper, passed away at his home in Peachtree City, Georgia, at the age of 83, due to complications from a stroke. Known for his remarkable achievements in track and field, Boston broke the long jump record set by Jesse Owens in 1935 and clinched the gold at the 1960 Summer Olympics in Rome. His distinguished career continued with silver and bronze medals at the 1964 Tokyo and 1968 Mexico City Olympics respectively. Boston's influence was not confined to the track. He used his platform to protest poverty in the black community by receiving his medal barefoot at the 1968 Olympics. After retiring, Boston dedicated his life to academia, broadcasting and corporate leadership, making significant contributions in all these fields. In 1985, he was deservedly inducted into the U.S. Olympic Hall of Fame. Tributes to Ralph Boston. Denny Crum, a towering legacy in college basketball. Denny Crum, the esteemed head basketball coach of the University of Louisville, passed away at the age of 86 in his Louisville home. Known for leading the Cardinals to two NCAA championships, Crum's legacy stands tall in the realm of college basketball. Crum's coaching journey began at UCLA under the legendary John Wooden, later transitioning to Los Angeles Pierce College as the head coach. However, his illustrious career truly ignited in 1971 when he was hired as the head coach at Louisville. In less than a decade, he guided the Cardinals to their first NCAA championship, with the second triumph following in 1986. Known for his characteristic rolled-up program in hand during games, Crum's leadership saw six Final Four appearances for the team. After 30 years at Louisville, Crum retired in 2001, later co-hosting a popular talk radio program. His significant contributions to the sport earned him a place in both the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame and the National Collegiate Basketball Hall of Fame. Tributes to Denny Crum. Rob Laxo, a multifaceted maestro in indie music. Rob Laxo, a gifted multi-instrumentalist and an integral member of the Violators, passed away from bile duct cancer at the young age of 44. Laxo's distinct talent shone brightly across the indie music scene, leaving a profound impact on the genre. An Emerson College alumnus, Laxo honed his skills in music production and engineering in the indie rock scenes of New England and New York. His diverse musical capabilities led him to work with established artists such as Modest Mouse and Jay Maskis of Dinosaur Jr. He was also a part of the pioneering American Shoegaze Act, Swirlies and Mice Parade. Laxo's most significant contribution was his collaborative work with Kurt Vile and The Violators. From 2009, he partnered with Vile on eight albums, and his influence in Vile's musical journey was undeniable. Beyond producing records, Laxo played a multitude of instruments, showcasing his versatility. In 2022, he embarked on a solo project, Raw Bell, further demonstrating his profound musical talent. Tributes to Rob Laxo. Thanks for watching Who Died Today America. If you enjoyed this tribute, please give it a thumbs up and share with friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more inspiring stories. Leave a comment below telling us who inspired you the most. See you in the next video.